Hello friends, welcome. This is Sarveshwar. This video will talk about a very important test in financial econometrics that is serial correlation test which is loom box test or algen box test and I would just implement the test in R studio because it's free and available. Uh, you can also use uh, eViews but I'm using R. So first of all we need to know why do we use these serial correlation tests at all. So first of all I want to show here uh, these are the basic reasons. The first reason is we want to test market efficiency means the returns we are having in the market it assumes it's random. So we want to test for it and if the returns are independent or not uh, it could be tested by these serial correlation tests. Similarly whether to apply Garch effect or not it also depends on these tests by uh, making sale correlation tests on returns or their or square returns. Similarly we could also use a uh, serial correlation test uh, for diagnostic test purpose of the residuals from the least square methods. Similarly we could also use it just to test for the independence of the observations. So these are the basic uses other uses uh, could also be shown but uh, this video is not for that. The here I would like to show it. So first I would like to show for a random series. Suppose uh, I have a random series that has normal 0 1 distribution. For that purpose I am generating random normal observations 1000 observations with normal 0 1 distribution. These are 1000 observations. This is the hair of that and I want to use this uh, uh, loom box test of serial correlation which is a join test that up to certain number of lags there is no serial correlation. What it does it just computes at lag 1 serial correlation and then at lag 2 serial correlation and that at lag 3. In this way when you mention like here I have mentioned lag 10. So for lag 10 at lag 10 it's 0, lag 2 it's 0 and up to lag 10 it's 0. This is a join test. So here the null hypothesis is there is no serial correlation up to lag 10 because I have mentioned lag 10. If it's 20, it's up to 20 lags. There is no serial correlation. So I'm using the command box test. I'm using the command box test uh, on this variable uh, y, uh, y up to lag 10. And I'm just mentioning type is loom box test. And I'm just putting here the value of P is more than 0 0.05 means we cannot reject the null of no serial correlation. So we say yes there is no serial correlation because it's a random data that uh, so we know that there is no serial correlation. But now we come to the real data. Suppose I am having a uh, exchange rates data. This is my data here. Uh, from 2009 to 16 for USD INR, Pound INR and Euro INR series. I am taking one series USD uh, INR. Uh, so I am taking that. Uh, you can take any series here. So the, this are the, these are the written series for USD INR currency pair. I want to test whether the series has a serial correlation or not. So I am using the same command box test for the series I have written USD up to lag 10 it could be anything 10 15 20 generally in papers research papers receipts up to 10 up to 15 up to 20 then we use uh, in type loom box and I and I reject the null hypothesis because the p value here is less than 0 0.05 and we say serial correlation exists there Similarly, we could also use another test that is box PS test. The command is same box test, but we need to change the type box PS. So in the same formula, same function, we have two types loom box and box PS. These are similar tests, but some correction is there. You could refer the original papers for that. I could also use that. You can see the P values are very much similar here also 0. 34 was 0 0.034 was earlier not 0 0.035 but results are same there is no serial correlation up to uh, oh so sorry sorry here we have the results it's less than 0 0.05 so we say 
serial correlation exists up to like 10. So this is the way we use these tests. Uh, and these tests could be used for testing market efficiency, GARCH models, applying the GARCH models. So thank you friends. Thanks for watching.